I'm actually Wanda Ortiz. I play bassist Steph Harris. I'm Kim Cox. I play guitar as Adriana Smith. I'm actually Wanda Ortiz. I play bassist Steph Harris. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Damn it! Well, you guys just got done with a pretty successful NAMM show. You had a, a big show up at the PV booth. You want to tell us a little bit about that? PV. PV. <laughs> I think we did. It was, it was our second year yeah. at the PV yeah. booth. And it was, a, yeah, it was a great turnout, so it, that was really cool. And uh, PV really seems to get behind us and doing that, you know, this PV yeah. over here. So, yeah, they could take good care of us, so I'm glad they had us back for a second year. It was amazing. You, you missed it. You missed a party. That's right. Yeah, big time. <laughs> you guys have a lot of endorsers. Um, Monster Energy Drink. Um, oh God, big, goes on. I know, right? DW Drums, Pisces Symbols, there you Big Fur, BBE Sound, G and L, Humes and Bird Drum Cases, Schroeder, Dendert, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're very, Shepter. very lucky. <laughs> when so. is Duracell Batteries going to step up? You know. They need to sponsor <laughs> us, I think. <laughs> I mean, especially for a female band. I mean, there you go. <laughs> and deodorant company. Yeah. Well, amazing. Yeah. You know, starting, <laughs> starting out when you guys did in two thousand and one. Did you ever dream this would be a full-time gig and that you'd be touring all over the world? And I mean, no. you guys are huge. <laughs> no, it was started as a fun project. The, the idea was, everybody really liked Maiden. The idea was that we would learn these Maiden tunes and, you know, just play local gigs every once or twice a month. Yeah, it was just something to do. Just for fun. And then, you know, but after the first few gigs, everybody started calling and then it turned into a, yeah, we had no idea it would ever turn into a touring project. And 12, 13 years later, we'd still be doing this. And you guys seem to have a special relationship with Japan. You guys are on uh, Power Slave Records. That's a Japan-based label, isn't it? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> what's, um, what's a connection with you guys in Japan that makes it so special? Um, I, I'm half Japanese, but I don't know if that has anything to do with it. <laughs> All my family bought all our DVDs. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of your DVDs or the CDs will have bonus tracks, but exclusive to the, the Japanese market. Yeah, actually, there was a whole second disc, wasn't it? Yeah. Where they followed us around town all afternoon and oh, yes. causing yes. trouble and um, <laughs> being Americans. Yeah, being typical. <laughs> yeah. And it's just that footage being played over a track that we did to um, of Genghis mm -hmm. Khan. Repeated over and over and over and over. Dun, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> but it was pretty funny. Our manager dressed up in the big Eddie costume. We're walking through Japan, so oh, it's cool. towering over everyone. Yeah. Everyone's just like, Godzilla! <laughs> Crowd just no photo. Eddie. <laughs> yeah. No photo. <laughs> no photo. Right on. Hilarious. So, what, 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 for each of you, what was your first maiden show? First maidens oh, or maiden? Wait. Maiden, like the first oh. time you saw him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, they I saw, um, I don't even remember the year, I'm sorry, but it was Clive Burr's last tour with them. Oh, that would have been Number of the Beast, probably 82. It was Number of the Beast. Yeah. And they were with the Scorpions and Girl School. Oh, wow. Long Beach Arena. It was awesome. I was so jealous of Girl School because I wanted that to be me. <laughs> I don't even want to say it. I still haven't seen them yet. Oh, so wow. Oh, you lied! You lied! <laughs> you missed the battle of San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. well I think back. I was doing it. I think we had a sh my other band had a show oh, okay. that day or something, but something happened. Like you told us you were Dave Murray's little uh, sister. You said you were having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you promised us a record deal, too. Yeah. <laughs> Kept that on 
have a download. For me, it was Power Slave, and it was Irvine Meadows, back mm -hmm. when it was still called Irvine Meadows. Now yeah. it's Horizon. Something. Horizon Amphitheater. Yeah. yeah, I hear it's closing, too, which is a bummer. Oh, really? Oh, nice. I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah, I hear they're putting more track housing in. Oh, yeah, I hope not. Yeah. That's my favorite outdoor venue, so. Yeah, Gibson just went under, there. which was yeah, a bummer. Totally. Yeah, that was my first show. Seeing Priest and Slayer in 88 there. Was <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you were there in a stroller. Yes. I think my first time seeing Maiden was Ozfest. Was it the 2005, I the think. crazy egg throwing incident? Yeah, but uh, I'm from the East Coast, so I saw them in Jersey. Oh, okay. I was at the egg so. fest. <laughs> were you? I see. I skipped that one. I went in 04 when Sabbath and Priest and Slayer played. Oh, we were at the Egg Fest together. Didn't yeah. make it for 05. Oh, went in 06 just solely to see System. That was all I wanted to see, and that was an awesome show. But I can't imagine what that must have been like in 2005. It was disappointing. Yeah. So my first show was actually the same show as Kirsten's. So. Oh my god, it's yeah. so weird that we didn't see each other. Like I know. <laughs> Maybe we did. Power Maybe we did. Nice. <laughs> Mine would have been 90 at the Long Beach Arena on the uh, No Prayer for the Dying Tour. Anthrax opened up. Cool. She wasn't born. <laughs> 90, I was one. <laughs> 90, I was. Wow. You were. Yeah, you were born. So you being as big and as successful as you guys are, there's is it tough picking <laughs> set lists where you know the fans, they want to hear the trooper, they want to hear Run to the Hills, and I don't know if you guys get sick of playing them time after time. But then you've got people like me that I'd love to hear Deja Vu or When the Wild Wind Blows and stuff like that. Um, so how do you go about picking set lists? Is it tough? Do you go by your own personal preference? Are you trying to make a nice balance between what the fans want and what you prefer? Fortunately, we have a drummer who takes care of that for us. <laughs> yeah. We're like, what's our assignment, ma'am? Well, it's, you know, at the beginning we would have, we did the surveys. Fan favorites. And we also, at the shows, we would ask people and have them fill out information things, you know, what mm -hmm. do you want to hear, as we would build the set list with what they wanted to hear, and also we'd throw in what we wanted to play as well, and we'd pick some of the old, you know, B-sides, just to balance it out a bit and surprise them. You can't just play all the ones that, the hits. Right. Because people want to hear other stuff, too. Absolutely. The hardcore fans. Yeah, we're fans too, so we're not just puppets on the string. Like we like the old stuff, but we like the hits. Like so, it's just you know. We like the, the ancient sitting in the crowd. Yeah. But we're yeah, and we mix it up, and we keep track of every time we play a certain area. We keep the set list, so the next time we go back, it's not going to be the exact same set list. Oh, that's really cool. We make sure and change it up enough, so. Oh wow. You know, there's still some core favorites, mm -hmm. but you know, there's going to be ones that we didn't play the time before. Absolutely, that's great. So, when Maiden, for example, 2010, Final Frontier comes out, do you guys just rush into rehearsal space and learn every single song? Like, how does no. that work? No, <laughs> because they were touring with that, so, I mean, if exactly. it's an album they're touring with, I mean, well, the fans are already going to hear it because they're doing it. Um, we're kind of hoping that maybe one day we might be able to open with them and play the old stuff and then play their new, their new stuff. Kind of like a, because they do that, like every other tour is like a history tour for me, and then they'll yeah. tour behind their current album. That's kind of cool, yeah. We go to Dance of Death right now. Yeah. So. Oh, man, it's a great album. We're like, guys, we got, we got this, we got this. <laughs> that is a great song. You got it, yeah. Just sit back and this part. I know you wrote the stuff, but yeah. we'll take it from here yeah. and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> and you go from here beyond. <laughs> well, Metallica did that. I think they had a tribute band open for them, and they played all the old songs, and then Metallica played their new album. And um, from what I understand, that was went over really well. Yeah. So. Absolutely. I and turn that down. In, yeah. in the L.A. area, speaking of you know the big four, you always think, is there, when it comes to tribute bands, is there like a certain, is there a big four that stands out to you? A certain like set that's just higher than the others. I know for me, there's ones that I prefer a lot. Who are they? Just like Priest, Damage Inc. That's all. <laughs> and, Maidens, and I really like Hurricane a lot. I think they do a good job. And we're all friends. You know, the yeah. Team's a very small. And out of the cellar is great. Karen's awesome. She's Karen's she's awesome. Good yeah. yeah. Yeah, she is. I'm partial to a Thin Lizzy tribute called Tin Lizzy. So you guys are headed down to you guys are headed down to Mexico <laughs> soon. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Be down there for what about a week? Uh, yeah, yeah, five or six days. Yeah. Depends on the tequila runs out. <laughs> <laughs> and then in uh, you got the Monsters of Rock cruise coming yes. up. Yes. How stoked are you about that? Oh God. That's oh, a blast. He's a veteran. Was a blast. 
Oh, you've done it? Okay. The youngin yeah. is a very yeah. I also played for Femme Fatale. Oh, okay. So they wrote it last year, and it was just, it was just like being at the Rainbow for a week straight. Just, oh, wow. People just, I think I had maybe four hours of sleep the entire five days. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And the Swamping lineup. Hangover. The yeah. winery dogs, Jake and Red Dragon. Just, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's just Mike so Tramp. many cool bands. <laughs> All uh -huh. captive. They cannot escape. They can't escape. Right, <laughs> you can get to hang out with Billy Sheen and Mike Portnoy That's and right. just talk about music. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get any yeah. better than that, no. I would imagine. Just Getting to watch these guys and gals play up close and personal. Hell no, yeah. it's cool. They're watching us play now. That's so right. they're going from the, the poster on the wall to being. I in just front got row. chills. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the uh, rest of 2014 looking like? Do you guys? I know what you've done three albums and a DVD. Yeah, we're we're hoping to do another CD with our current lineup. That's yeah the ultimate it'll goal. It'll yeah. happen. We're, we're working to that. It just that's more, our next show. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Something brand new. Yeah. So send us some requests right. of what you might like to be on that next scene. Yeah. And uh, uh, talk to your local club venue or promoter about <laughs> bringing us to your town. Come on down. Your yeah. town, <laughs> USA. That's right, or Karen. Have to be call them. USA. That's right. And Karen does all the booking at the gas line. She should get you guys in there. Oh, he's played. Yeah, we've been there. Yeah. There. It's great. It's a great venue. The observatory for a while seemed to be kind of almost like a home base. You guys played there I so saw much. I it was called the Galaxy. But yeah, yeah, the Galaxy back then. I know. Is, is it still open? Yes. Yeah. yeah oh. Big time. It's just called the observatory now. Yeah, we. Yeah, right. Yeah. You guys recorded your 2005 show there in March when Filthy Phil came out and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. the keyboard player from Maiden. Right. Yeah, that was, that. that's, we had some good times there. That's a good that place is awesome. Do you have, is there a venue that you consider a home base for you guys that like just feels like home? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, do, we have our, our favorite little small bar, at, you know, in Tarzana mm -hmm. called Paladino. So okay. we play pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's our home base. It's yeah. Always packed, always good people. It's yeah. always a good time. Yeah. So if you're going to do like a CD we'll release party, we'll do experimental party, shows the there if we want to experiment on something. Yeah. Try a new sh new song for the first time. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, bring some special guests up. Yeah, I thought that is for all this special stuff. Very cool. And we'll be there April 4th. Right. That's right. Right after Monsters of Rock. Oh, April, oh April 5th? Yeah, we survived. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get off the boat first. Yeah. Where, <laughs> where's a good place that people can find you guys online when they want to keep up with what you guys are up to, where you're going to be at, if they want to buy merch, stuff like that? That's our website. That's right. Yeah. Ironmaidens.com. The, the Iron, Iron Maidens. Maidens. Oh, yeah. Gotta put the button in there. The That's Iron right. We also the tweet uh, the official Iron Maidens and on Facebook the official Iron Maidens. All right. We have forums too. You can access that at ultimatemetal.com. And we'll cool. be starting an Instagram soon too. So you can send us all your funny photos. Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> I know with all the social. Isn't that crazy? Like when you guys started out, there was like no Facebook. There was no. It was MySpace. It was yeah. MySpace. Yeah, right? <laughs> what happened to that? Everything changes gone, so quick. Yeah. I think it's kind of gone. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a wasteland, I guess. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I remember when I started cow. teaching, like kids were like, MySpace, and then right. it was Facebook, and I was like, oh, you're old, you have a Facebook. Well, remember before MySpace, it was Friendster. Oh, I don't even remember Friendster. that. Friendster. Zanga, I heard of Zanga. Oh, really? Okay. Where was I? I had never had <laughs> I remember typewriters. <laughs> In high school, uh, yeah. there's no internet. <laughs> right. Good old boy, though. That's right. Well, thank you, ladies, for having us. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank the you Iron Maidens, me. they're amazing. Check them out. They're all over the place. All over the world, actually. Um, and in your face. And in your face. <laughs> But not on my space. But not on my space.